Los Angeles, California has the third biggest homeless population in the United States. And today, it's my job to make sure there's one less hungry person on the streets. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, man, I got you. Would you like a Baconator, fries, a drink? Is that cool? All right, what's your name, man? Israel. God bless you, Israel. I got you. I'll be right back, man. Pick one Baconator combo, please. Yeah, what's up, dude, bro? Yeah, man, I got you a, I got you a Sprite right here. A large fry. Got you a Baconator, man. I was homeless myself, so I, I want to make sure you get on the right path. You know, you're always able to, you know, get back on your feet. You know, so I, just, I want you to enjoy this. This is really good. All right, take care. Have a nice day. Trayvon Sellers, or what's up Trey as he was known on YouTube at the time used to have 8,000 subscribers and I say used to because his channel is no longer there anymore if you search up what's up Trey his channel what's up Trey is completely gone all you see is the random other channels when you go to the filters and and click on channels and you see that his channel does not show up at all anymore but that is what I wanted to, to talk about today in this video because this year he has done the most despicable thing that we all have seen this year back around April uh, Trayvon Sellers made a video from a YouTube shorts on his channel titled Feeding the Homeless in LA and you know a lot of people around around that time thought it was staged most of us thought it was, was real for me, I am give a damn if that video had to be staged. It's still wrong. No matter how you put it this way, it's still wrong. And I called him out on it because he did the most despicable things of all time. And the next few days after that, he made a terrible response on his Instagram stories and which is like the second video I made of him when he was deflecting the situation that he did with the alleged homeless man who he says pretended to be a homeless man and it was actually his friend who wa wanted to be in his video and clearly it it was even worse for Trey because he wasn't thinking how bad and horrible it is to trick people into thinking that it was an actual homeless man. Like, if he actually did that on a YouTube video that he was making to an actual homeless man, one who, in fact, may actually have some mental health problems and doesn't like t to be bothered by random motherfuckers like Trayvon Sellers who would have ended up killing him then things like this would have gone way badly for Trey and and it would 
have been a well-deserved one for him because if his friend wasn't his friend at all, things would turn the opposite. The motion that he had to go out of his way to trick the American people and people probably around the world who have seen this on the internet was so disingenuous of Trayvon Sellers cruel and above all cloud chasing at best because had Trayvon Sellers taken the opposite route and make content that was actually more entertaining and actually more thoughtful then Trayvon Sellers himself wouldn't be in this particular mess today in the past. Before I go, there's this one man who's going to give a black Canadian a piece of his mind for staging a homeless prank. And to give you a hint, he does not give presents to people who are bad this year. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas. Trayvon Sellers, you have done a naughty thing this year. And you get no sympathy, sympathy for me. You lied about everything in that video you made about a homeless person that you're giving to. But you instead ate a burger. How the fuck is that a good deed, sir? You have been a very naughty, naughty man. Check your tree this year. And no, it is not presents this year. You get this instead. Happy holidays, dumbass. At the end of the day, the bottom line is that if you actually wanted to make a content, a video content about helping out the homeless people in LA, go to an actual homeless person instead of staging one. Because staging a homeless prank is extremely cruel and you won't be liked by everybody on the career sphere or the internet sphere in general. Just a thought.